there's someone on the Preston boys basketball bench who may not only be the face of this school, but also the Preston community. And most likely, it's not head coach Dan Beck, who's in his 37th year as an educator and coach in Preston. More likely, it's his son, Matt, who has his touches around the town, not only as a special assistant to the basketball team. He does it all through his amazing grace, his caring, and his love. 16 years. You've been doing it 16 years. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got a certificate mm -hmm. from a Tennessee basketball coach at the College Clinic in Des Moines. Well, they say everything happens for a reason, and obviously, you know, we were, uh, when he was born, we, we found out he had Down syndrome. You know, it's like, you know, it kind of hits you hard for a while, but then, you know, when you realize that God's going to have a special purpose for him, and, um, you know, he, he just makes everybody's day bright. You know, it's. Uh, it's unbelievable the way he brightens everybody's day and, and uh, um, you know, he walks down the hall, he's the most popular guy in the school, everybody's saying hi to him and he's a special kid and it's just, I think God put him in a special place. He's just had a wonderful life and it's to me amazing, um, not to brag, but amazing to see how many lives he's touched. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a good sense of humor, um, very witty and he, he enjoys people and he's very caring too. You know, he knows everybody's birthday. He sends them balloons on their birthdays mm -hmm. and just, he enjoys life. He's mm -hmm. very happy. He's part of the team for us. He's there all of our games cheering us on, you know, giving us some pointers. Usually after the game, he'll give us some words of advice and kind of brings a smile and kind of lightens things up for us. He's always loved referees. And back when he was in high school, one year he wanted a referee suit for Christmas. So, you know, we got him the referee shirt, the referee, pants and shoes and everything and then he would start coming to our practices and whenever we'd scrimmage he would he would referee and of course we used to joke that he was a better referee than some of them we got in the games of course we always had to say that but uh, even you know uh, he graduated in 99 and that year when we were out in the state tournament you know he was out there when we were practicing you know he's out there on the court referee and uh, you know when we were scrimmaging at, at the state tournament so um, yeah it's it's just been Quite a ride. And why do they like you so much, I guess? They care. Mm -hmm. How important is that to you, that they care so much about you? They always do. The message in Preston, Iowa, when it comes to Matt Beck is, if you know him, you love him. And one person yes. who may know him as well as anyone else is Wendy House. And she says her relationship with Matt has definitely grown from mentor to good friend. And he's always been so accepted. Uh, as a student and as a person, everybody wants to be Matt's friend and everybody calls his name in the hallway and many times he's kind of tunnel visioned. He wants to come down and tell me a specific thing and he just will not look at anybody and come down to, to our room and he'll tell me whatever it is and well then he's good to go to talk to somebody else because he's, he's just driven and he does have many unique interests and knows so much about presidents and history and dinosaurs and I mean, he, he also will mention things that have happened 10 years ago when he was in high school that maybe when we were on a job site, he will quote the exact words that I said when we were on that job site. I mean, he's just, he's very intelligent. He used to make sure he would go over to the uh, person that was going to announce the starting lineups and the coaches and make sure that they had his name on the list, that he was going to get announced. And of course, uh, you know, like we went to Springville last Saturday on his birthday. Uh, they're always, you know, very good about announcing his birthday because that's huge to him, you know, just things like that, that. Yeah, other crowds have always given him special attention to and, you know, other coaches have been great to him. I mean, I look at the guy and, you know, maybe a reflection of Christ too, you know, mm -hmm. what God wants us to be, that loving person too and expressive about that too. Mm -hmm. Have you seen those kind of God moments over the years? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he recently lost his grandfather and that, that was hard for him, but um, when somebody passes away, you know, he doesn't talk about them dying, he talks about them being, you know, going to heaven and looking at the positive aspects mm. of that. And he's, he's very religious, um, goes to church every Sunday, it means a lot to him. And then you get the last word, right, at the end of the night, you get to say the last thing to the guys? Yeah. Yeah, what do you, what do you usually tell the guys? I have to be counting on the face we got so far. Matt, what's up? We got ten in a row. <laughs> If you've got another story for us to tell, we'd love to hear about it. You can find us at www.
www.illawafca.org. Also there, there's great opportunities to see how you can volunteer or support FCA. With this week's FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.